Hey guys, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Steven. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 23. Uh, nothing is going on, once again. Uh, but I see my bus. I'm taking the 109 down to, uh, thank you, down to Target uh, and the grocery store so I can buy some food for a trip that starts tomorrow. Uh, I ran into a co-worker yesterday uh, on the way back from the airport. I actually had to go to the airport to upload yesterday's vlog mess because it was like 45 minutes and my Wi-Fi is down. So, But on the way back, I ran into a co-worker who I did not know. Um, I'll tell you about that in a sec. My boss is here. All right, so I just went to Target and picked up uh, some little miniature battery-powered lights. Because I'm, unless I really honestly am in a horrible mood, I have a little uh, miniature, like, silver tinsel Christmas tree. I'm going to decorate my room for Christmas just to kind of pretend, you know, whatever. Uh, and I figure I'll use the lights to decorate our service cart, you know, because we'll do some service. It'll be low light, and so I think that'll be kind of cute. We'll see. Uh, what was I telling you earlier? Oh, I was telling you I ran into a coworker last night on the at the bus stop. I thought I was the only one who took a bus. Apparently not. I have a coworker, Kendall, who's been here about as twice as long as me, and uh, she lives, I guess, maybe a mile, mile and a half, maybe two miles from me, and she takes a bus most nights. You know, because why spend the money on a car when you don't need to? So. I kind of felt better about my predicament. I was going to say my choice, but it really isn't a choice to not have a car because I would have a car if I could. But um, yeah, it was nice to see her. Uh, you know, just when I think I know everybody in base, I see a new face. But uh, so I think she actually said she watches some of my channels. So if you're watching, hi there, Kendall. Um, so yeah, I'm going to... The grocery store next which I'm gonna walk to and then I'll go home and that is gonna be my day so far uh, unless I get hit by this car look at the ducks look at the ducks wait where oh there how cute is that look at all the little ducks look at those look at the ducks this is all uh, runoff it, it's like a little river it, with trash and mattresses and baby carrots and stuff like that but all sorts of birds live down there and then you can start to see where people uh, live in the tunnels as well but how cute are those ducks I love ducks um, I'm gonna go to the grocery store pick up some food for my trip and then maybe I'll go over my schedule I'll go over my January schedule with you guys and That'll be Vlogmas for today. So I'll see you maybe back at home. All right, so I made it to the grocery store. Bought as much food as I think I can pack in my lunch bag because uh, being Christmas, I'm going to be depressed out of my pants. So I'm going to want to eat as much as I can <laughs> just to keep myself occupied. I don't know. Uh, the cashier here at Vaughn's, there's a number of them, and I chat to all of them, you know, this, this one guy, he's just the nicest guy, nicest guy, I can't get my mask off, I haven't seen him for a little bit, turns out, he got sick, he had to have his appendix taken, appendix, ugh, appendix taken out, and, uh, he got evicted, <laughs> he's having some tough times himself, he got evicted from his place, the, the notice, while he was in the hospital. He was out of work. The grocery store doesn't have, like, you know, short-term disability or anything, so he's just got screwed. So, I told him of where I live right now, because he's paying four ten a week. four ten a week for a room somewhere here in Vegas. So, uh, I told him about where I live. Oh, this helicopter is bugging me. And uh, so, you know, you have to have fairly okay credit to get in there, but I don't know. It's cheaper than what he's spending right and is paying right now. 
And, uh, yeah, he just told me a story about how he had, uh, no one was really able to help him when he had to get out of where he was. So I gave him my phone number. I don't have a car, but I can certainly help him move or something. All right, I'm gonna cross here without dying. All right, this street sometimes is tricky to cross. So yeah, he had nobody to help him pack and move from where he was living. So I gave him my phone number. He's a grocery store clerk. He's not a serial killer, I don't think. So I figured it's a safe bet. If he needs help to move and I can help, huh? I like moving. I have a lot of experience with moving. All right, let me get home, put these clothes, these, this, this food in the freezer, and I'll go over my schedule for next month, and then I'll be done for the day. All right, I'll talk to you soon. Hey guys, I'm back in the apartment with Eleanor. <laughs> Honey. She likes being held about as much as Buddy does, uh, but she is better about it. She's actually purring a little bit right now, which is very nice. Um, so she went, oh, and her tail's wagging. Not in an aggressive let me go away, which is nice too. Um, so I figured I would have time to talk with you guys about my schedule for a bit before she jumps down because she's not going to stay here for very long. Uh, so I made a little experiment for January with my schedule. Sorry to be rocking back and forth. She likes it. Um, so I made a little experiment with January's schedule in that I attempted to be sapped. Oh, there she goes. Okay. Bye. All right. What was I saying? Sapped. Sapped stands for schedule adjustment period. Uh, and what I was doing was trying to be sapped. Now being sapped is when, for example, my December schedule, my last trip of December starts on New Year's Eve and ends on January 2nd. The first trip of my January schedule starts on D January 1st and ends on the 2nd. So I can't have two pairings at one time, right? They conflict with each other. So the airline takes away the trip that conflicts with my December schedule. So they took away the two day trip that was the first trip on my January schedule. And that trip was not fantastic. So I'm not really sad they took it away. And I was actually trying to have this done because I liked the rest of the schedule. I just didn't want to have like back to back trips and blah, blah, blah. So the trip they took away from me, uh, and I'm happy they did, it's fine. It was a two day trip, um, Vegas to um, Orange County. I was I would lay over there for 13 hours and 20 minutes. And then I would work a four leg day, uh, Oak, um, uh, Orange County to Oakland, Oakland to Vegas, Vegas to Austin, Austin back to Vegas. No, thank you. Uh -uh. <laughs> no, thank you. I've worked that day before and it sucked. Um, so they took that trip away from me. Uh, so I have remaining, I've got a, a good handful of trips, but none of them, none of them are bad. They're all good trips. So let's talk about some of those trips. Uh, oh, and you know, so some people are inadvertently sapped and that's someone who just is either too junior to actually be able to get some space between those trips that end and begin at the different months. Um, some people, again, try to be sapped because they want those credit hours taken away just so they don't have to work that hard that next month. They don't, they don't want to work a full schedule. Or they know that people who have been sapped have first dibs on an open time for a couple of days. So I have first dibs to go into open time and try and find a trip that would make up for those hours that were, that were removed from my schedule, nine hours and 28 minutes. Um, but as I went through uh, open time, there is nothing that uh, equals the amount of time that was removed from my schedule. I can get up to two more credit hours than, than were taken away from me by that. But everything really was like a three or four day trip and I didn't want to add another really long trip to my schedule. So I'm just going to go without those credit hours. So I won't be working as much in January as I have for the past six or eight months. And that again is fine with me. Um, I could use one month where I'm not like working my tail off, right? All right. So um, my first trip for January will start right after I get back from my last trip of December. 
the last trip of December, I get back on January 2nd around 8, mm, 1030 at night. Uh, and on, on January 3rd, I have a, a report time of 845. Normally, I don't like back-to-back uh, -back trips like that. But this next trip uh, that starts on January 3rd, I'm only away from base 50 hours and 41 minutes. So it's not a very long trip. It's technically a three-day trip. Uh, the first day, I'm just going Vegas to San Diego, there to Chicago, and there to uh, New Orleans, where I have a 30-hour and nine-minute layover. I haven't ever had a 30-hour layover in New Orleans that I remember, uh, but I would love to go into New Orleans. I don't know if things are shut down there, and I don't care. I'm just going to walk around the streets. Um, if uh, Cafe Du Monde is open, I'll go in and... and uh, pick up some beignets and maybe some ground coffee to use with my cold brew coffee maker. But uh, it'll be nice just to walk around New Orleans. Um, so that'll be something fun. Then the next day, I just go from there to Chicago and to back to Vegas. So super easy trip with a really extraordinarily great layover. The next trip starts on the 8th of January. Um, and I just go from Vegas to Fort Lauderdale. It has a report time of uh, 12, 11 in the afternoon. So that's fine. Um, Vegas to Fort Lauderdale, Fort Lauderdale to Tampa. And then I have 21 and a half hours in Tampa. Now I get in, um, to Tampa at 10 43 at night. I'm not due to leave, uh, Tampa until 8 40 that night. So if Bush Gardens is open, I'm probably going to end up uh, jumping in an Uber over to, to Busch Gardens for the day. You have to reserve a ticket and I have a pass there. Um, and uh, so you have to reserve a ticket, but I'll, I'll go just for a few hours and uh, ride some roller coasters. It's reduced um, uh, capacity, but it's, it's going to be January and no one's going to be there anyway. So I'm going to go to, um, I'm planning on going to uh, Busch Gardens. And then the next day I just go to Tampa to Vegas. I mean, I'm away from base 36 hours. That includes my 21 and a half hour layover in uh, Tampa. So <clears throat> fantastic. Uh, the next day, the next trip starts. Oh gosh. Huh. All right. This is interesting. We're going to have to find out together what this means. But my next trip starts on January 10th. And I just noticed at the top of it, it says pairing canceled. So I don't know if that means I'm going to be on TAJ. It's not showing up on my schedule yet. Boy, I got to find out what's going on here. But I'm, I'm kind of upset about this. This is one of the reasons I bid for this line. I'm so upset. Well, the pairing that was canceled, they could put me in TAJ. Um, uh, I would work a fairly long day the first day. It's LA to Orange County, Orange County to uh, LA and LA to San Diego. Not a really difficult day, just lots of ups and downs, but I had a 33 and a half hour layover in San Diego. I have never had more than probably, oh, I had one, one 24 hour layover in San Diego in almost four years. So I was really looking forward to that long San Diego layover, but it says payer and canceled at the top of my, uh, this. So it's still on my schedule on my phone. So I wonder what's going on there. We'll find out together when that happens. Uh, the next trip, it'd be nice to be on TAJ. Uh, TAJ, I have been on TAJ once or twice. TAJ is an example of like this. For example, the pairing was canceled through no part, you know, no fault of mine. Uh, so they canceled the trip. They can't just throw a different trip on my schedule. I'm not on reserve. So um, that trip is removed. I'm credited for those hours. I do get paid for that trip. And that trip is, um, the credit was only really 13 and a half hours. So, um, no big whoop, but, um, they will credit me for those hours, but TAJ means time. I don't know what it stands for right now. <laughs> they could, um, call me with 24 hours notice to work a trip during the footprint of that pairing. I believe I'd have to be back two hours, within two hours of the original pairings ending. I really have to read my contract about TAJ because I, I just don't get it very often. But um, so they could potentially 
call me for a trip uh, to work a trip instead of this one, which I would do it because I love having a job, but I'm really kind of bummed I'm not getting that 33 and a half hour layover in San Diego. That's really one of the main reasons I'd do for this line. Well, all right, moving on, I have a job. Um, the 17th of January, um, I fly from LA to Atlanta, easy peasy, it's a red eye. Uh, and then I am in Atlanta for 23 hours and 20 minutes. I'm in, uh, I get in on a Monday. It's had that whole Monday there. So I'm hoping that my friend Stephen, um, Philip, and maybe Juan will be available uh, because I really haven't seen them in, I don't know, a year, year and a half. Uh, and Stephen's health is kind of shaky. So I would love to see him um, if they're up to it. Again, being very responsible, wearing masks. Um, and giving some distance, but it would be nice to see them. Uh, then I have a deadhead from Atlanta to Orlando. Nice to have a deadhead that's more than 45 minutes, although that's not very long. But um, then Orlando, then I work Orlando uh, St. Thomas turn. I'm not a big giant fan of doing internationals, but St. Thomas, the middle of January, can't be that bad. So I'll work it. Uh, and I have a layover of 11 hours and 31 minutes in Orlando. Not fantastic, but um, there you go. That's the worst part of the whole trip, that one layover. And then the last trip of the, the uh, month is on the 27th of January. And I fly uh, LA, Vegas to LA, LA to Atlanta, which is a pretty crappy trip uh, because... Oh, all right. Well, it, it, it could be worse. My show time is like 6 a.m. So that doesn't, that means we actually get into Atlanta at a rational hour and it won't feel as bad. Sometimes a, a red eye of that duration is just ugh, awful. Um, I'm in Atlanta for 14 and almost 15 hours. And then I just fly back to um, L, um, Vegas from Atlanta. So <clears throat> not the worst schedule. I'm very con um uh, concerned about what's going to happen possibly on that pairing where uh, that was canceled. I'm kind of bummed. I would really have liked a 33 and a half hour layover in San Diego. Oh well. Um, the schedule does allow if you are paying attention to the dates. I'm not sure why you would. Uh, but that does give me a fair number of days off. It gives me 14 days off. Um, and I, it gives me those days in fairly good sized blocks. I've got uh, two days off on the 6th and 7th. I've got the 13th, 14th, 15th, 16th off. I also have the 21st through the 26th off. Uh, so I've got a, a good number of days off in fairly good sized chunks. So if I do want to go on a day trip somewhere, um, I'm tempted to go back up to Rhode Island, but then I might keep that until April when things have warmed up a bit. But who knows what's going to happen. But that's my schedule for January. Uh, it could be much worse. Uh, and um, there you go. So there's Vlogmas for today, day 23. Hope you had a great day. Hope this wasn't too boring. Uh, but I'll talk to you later uh, tomorrow, actually. All right. Fly safe. Bye.